At Ammonite, we strongly recommend using multi-factor authentication, or MFA, for enhanced account security. We've designed it to be as hassle-free as possible while still providing maximum protection. Let's have a closer look at what it is and how to get it set up. If MFA is required on your account, when you first log in, you'll be prompted to enter a six-digit code sent to the email address associated with your account. This is used to verify your account. Next, you'll see that your profile now includes a shield to show that you are protected by MFA. If you click on the drop-down, you'll see a new menu item for multi-factor authentication where you can find all the settings. Let's go through them to get a better understanding of their function. Verification code is the core of MFA security. It is a time-sensitive, randomly generated six-digit code that refreshes every 30 seconds and is a method we strongly recommend using. For optimal security, this code can be displayed on a dedicated authenticator app or saved into your password manager, which we'll go over shortly. Email verification is another form of verification code. It operates in the same way as the email that was sent when we first logged in. While it is better than not using MFA at all, this method is considered to be least secure. If your email is compromised, an attacker could reset your password and gain access using the emailed MFA code. Finally, backup codes are fail-safe codes that can be used if all other MFA methods have failed. These can be printed out and kept in a secure location. Each code is single-use and will be removed from the list once they've been activated. This list can be renewed if you have activated them or if you feel that your current codes are compromised. The verification code is simple to set up. To enable verification code, click the Enable button. This will display your unique QR code. Scan the QR code with your chosen authentication app or password manager. The verification code is now set up. Once this is enabled, we highly recommend disabling code by email to prevent a more accessible workaround by a potential hacker. And that's it. Next time you log in, you'll be asked to enter your unique authentication code which if you've used a password manager like me, it's simple and easy to use.